Maybe like the can, right partner come along. Yeah, I can yeah. I can see that happening. I can yeah. see if myself like being partner, a decent mom. Like if your husband billionaire, then like he damn good father. So right. twins, triplets. Hey everyone and welcome back to The Hot Pot where we explore different transitions in life. I'm Q. I'm Nick. I'm Joey. And today we're going to explore and talk about why millennials like us are now hesitant to have children. <gasps> Who are you calling a millennial? <laughs> I am Gen Z. Let us know in the comments if you think he's Gen Z or I'm not. Gen no, Z. guess his age since we've never actually hey, mentioned it. It's giving discriminatory <laughs> ageism vibes. Stop abusing giving. Okay. <laughs> Back to the topic. First of all, what are your sentiments towards kids? Mm. Cute. I like them when they're not crying. Wouldn't want them in the same plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, one, yeah, yeah. scared. Fun to play with, not so fun to take care of. <laughs> oh my god, we're such haters. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I love kids. Like, you want to like nurture. Yeah. But I will say that it's a lot easier when they're not yours. Mm. Yeah. I yeah. think quite contextual. Like kid in a park or playground or like at family gatherings where you oh, can choose specific. the amount of okay. interaction. Like you can play a while, five minutes. Play a while, yeah, okay. Uh, I, yeah, I go, and, go and drink my chrysanthemum tea. <laughs> so it's a rather known fact that more and more adults our age don't really want to have kids. Mm. It's almost like we are a bit afraid of mm. having kids for specific reasons which we will explore later. Mm. But do you guys think that your formative years growing up and how your parents were affected your view of whether you wanted to be a parent hmm. when you were slightly younger? La. Because um, I was raised with two other siblings. The household was always very fun. So mm. I grew up with that, that mentality that family should be big. Last time when people asked me what do you want to be when you grow up, right? I always say I want to be a mom. Wow. Like that's like, your That was what I goal. wanted to be. Yeah, I want to mm. be a mom. I want to have a family. I wanted to be an independent woman in that it was my choice to get the house ready for my kids and my husband and like get everything looking good. I cook. Like I own like a little store by myself. That was That's the dream life. But as I get older, I, I realised that it's not as simple as being a mom. Like being a mom comes with a lot mm. of responsibilities. Mm. Like it's not even the good and the ugly. It's a lot of mental, emotional... Um, financial stress yeah. that is forever until you die. Yeah. Actually, I think I don't you mind being reverse. a mom. You can't yeah. Sorry? If it means like I have financial stability, then I'd be a full-time like parent, right? Mm. Then I think okay. But you have to go into it ready to accept every yeah. possibility. And if you are not, if you are like, no lah, my kid will be fine. I think you should reconsider. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I feel like if I were to have kids, definitely must have more than one. Yes. Because like a bit lonely. Uh. Yeah. And next time I die already, then they got if they know yeah. friends how, then at least they have each other, right? From an only child's perspective, mm. being an only child has its perks too. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. No, yeah. but my siblings and I did talk about this before. Like, if you ever lose your parents, yeah. you're sharing the grief with someone else. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But if you're doing it alone, it's very painful and very hard. That's yeah. true. Yeah. But then I think the um, our parents' generation of parenting is very different from how like our friends are parenting now. Yes. Mm. So our parents' generation, I think I didn't see both my parents a lot because oh. they were both working. So I think that's the part that I was like, if I were to have a kid, I would want to be financially secure enough that like you I can, can I can be present and don't have to keep stressing about like working 70 hour work weeks, that mm. kind of thing. Basically you don't want to struggle. La. Yeah, I mean you might not be financially struggling, but like you're not spending quality time with your yeah. kids. Mm. Also, yeah. right? So but, growing up, did you want to have kids? Yeah, I think growing up it was always a you just thought of assume that you just it's a, it's a, a given, dad, right? Yeah. It's, a it's given. like part of the process, yeah. right? Then as yeah. you become an adult, then you realize that actually I can don't have kids. Actually it's a choice. Okay, so on that note, right? Have you all heard of the Dink trend? You mentioned it once before. So Dink is dual income, no kids. Oh yeah. okay. And okay. then there's also Dink what? Dual income, no kids with a dog. With yes. a dog, yes. Mm. So the thing trend, right? Two people living together as partners, no children of their own, and then no plans to have kids who are thriving in their careers and personal lives. You are self-sufficient financially. You have two incomes supporting one household. Mm. And then you don't need to worry about like, oh, I need to set aside money for this. I need to set aside time for, for a kid. Mm. You can travel. You got like disposable income. That sounds like your dream. Yeah, not bad. Uh. My... Fiance and I, we are, we are quite sold on the Dink Ward life. Mm. Dink for now lah. Dink. So for now, Dink life. <laughs> it sounds very strange. It yeah. sounds like an insult. Yeah. Like dink Ward. <laughs> dink. I, I won't rule out having kids lah. Mm. I think like quite, 
it's quite hard to commit to like I don't want kids forever. It might be an unpopular opinion, right? But assuming that if I wanted to have kids and then my partner says like she don't want, right? I think she got more say. Wow. Because it's her body. Yeah. Yes. The yeah. nine months really yeah. damn check. And then the after also damn check. Yeah. I think it's very hard for guys to understand this, yeah. to be honest. When I was on dating apps back then, right? Yeah. Like must put, two must years put disclaimer. Ago, you need to indicate whether you want kids or not. Oh. I used to be one kids. Mm. And I would always swipe left. On the do one kids. Do one kids. But I, I relate to them now, eh. It's just been two years and my mentality has changed. Okay, so actually an interesting one uh, is assuming you want kids or you don't want kids, right? Is you start dating someone like uh, casually yeah, yeah. and then they say they are the opposing view. Will you try to convert them? No. It's like, oh, I like this person but it's just this kids thing. Maybe I can change I don't believe them. in changing people. Someone in a relationship will end up regretting. Yeah. But I think it's a matter of how much you want it. Like, I've been thinking about this so much. It's like, I would rather regret not having children than regret then having have. children. Because mm. you can't reverse it. Yeah, and I don't want to bear any resentment for my child who literally did not ask to be born. Like, one thing I told my partner very clearly, like, once we get married, I'm probably going to start therapy as well because I want to make sure I don't pass down any generational trauma to my kid. Mm. Generational trauma. I didn't realise this was so, but only through therapy I realised that I am a product of my parents yeah. and the way they react at home you know, like sometimes marriage counselling can mm. save the way your kid ends up mm. also. But quite difficult, right? So, I mean, being a product of your parents' mm. trauma and things like that. But I feel like that's putting a lot of pressure on yourself also as a parent. Which I think our generation does a lot of. Oh, I must like, do this when they're young. Be, if not, next time they'll be like We that. have to be perfect yeah. before then, we do anything. But the reality is that your child is going to be born into a world that like, is much bigger than you. They're yeah. going to be exposed yes. to an environment that is beyond mm. you also. Yeah. So, they will be shaped by a lot of different things that are beyond you and your yeah. parenting. Like, of course, your parent very important. Mm. Yes. But there are also still a big number of people who still want to have kids, right? Yeah. I mean, you, you probably have friends. So funny you mentioned that there are some stats that our producers have pulled hmm. from a stats. CNA article. Okay, So it says that 9 out of 10 of the married couples that were surveyed, so that's about 92%, mm. said that they would prefer to have two or more children. But in reality, only about 51 of them had fewer than mm. two children. Yeah. Oh. And also on a Reddit thread, this is my favourite comment. See, everything expensive, still want add-on additional burden, <laughs> meh? Go on more, go on more. <laughs> when I see kids in public, they are either screaming or on their phones. When I hear parents talking about their kids, it's all about tuition, school exams. None of this seems like what I want for my life. Honestly, I can hear my friends saying that. Well, so funnily enough, it was only when I began being a teacher that I started to have second thoughts about children. Oh. Why? Because I see the, the kids suffering. Uh, oh, kids suffering. Yeah. Okay, I'll start the parents suffering. No, the kids I always see the suffer suffering. more. So there are kids who come in for a Saturday art class in the morning. Mm. And I'm like, oh, after this, what are you going to do? She's like, oh, after this, I got, uh, I need to go for tuition. Then after that, I got swimming class. Then after that, I got piano. I'm like, how many enrichment programs mm. do you, are you signed up for? And mm. she said, basically, she doesn't like the weekend because... Every weekend, like Saturday, Sunday, she has classes filled to the brim. Oh my god, that's not how a child should be. Yeah. Like my childhood on weekends is always going to the beach. Like <laughs> with, my, with my with my parents like la. Then we, yeah, not Sento, like East Coast Park last time. Wow, that's totally different. Eh? Like the childhood it's is so genuine honestly very competitive now with, with kids. Yeah, mm. like the education system, because we are improving and we are progressing as as the world does, right? So does the system and everything needs to improve. Like kids in primary school now are using calculators. Oh. We only started using calculator like set one. Set two. one. And even then yeah. it was very minimal. But now in primary school they're using that. So the curve has changed so much. Like the, the very smart kids, right? They mm. still need tuition to catch up. I had a lot of tuition. Uh, but I, I always felt like I always try to tell myself that if I have a kid, right, unless like the subject damn bad, right? No tuition. That's how I like tuition, eh? Because like then I can have boys, like, right? no, then I can have my no. It's because then I can have That's my, my tuition. tuition. Got a lot of tie. Eh? <laughs> what is tie? Tie is like pretty girls. Vegetable. You are so <laughs> disgusting, eh? <laughs> For Joey and Q, you wanted kids when you were younger. Yes. Why? I think first of all, society has societal expectations. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And then I think my mom was a good mom, mm. so I wanted to be like her. Mm. Like I really wanted to replicate that. And what I have with my siblings. Because mm. I feel like my siblings are my friends also. Mm. And if I could have that and, and you know, be a mother to three little me, 
it would be quite cute. La. Like, it was really very innocent. Innocent thoughts oh. back then. So actually not very deep, la, the thoughts? Not very deep, but I do think that the the bond that we had as a family mm. was something I wanted when I was older. And I thought that was like the end goal. Joey? I can't pin it on a specific thing. I feel like it's very natural. Like, I just, I just want to like birth. A, you know what I mean? It's like, I want, natural instincts. Yeah, I want to have an extension of myself and my significant other and like we can nurture this kid. Mm. It was kind of like, you know, I want to like tie her hair or buy clothes for him or if, if they're his interests, I want to support him. Mm. Like, I think that's very fun and mm. I think the idea of having a kid that is created by you and your partner, like mm. little parts of you and little parts of your partner mm. and you see them in in your child. Like, that's a very special thing. Mm. Yeah. Imagine if all the attributes of yourself that you don't like is in your kid, then all the attributes of your partner's self that he or she don't like also in the kid. Wow, check. And that's what <laughs> middle kids are for. What do you mean? I can't, I can't, oh my god. As an only child, I have no idea why. I just I'm the it. youngest. I'm safe. <laughs> I have a tr- controversial question. Our parents' generation usually see kids as an investment mm. that their children should be or obligated to take care of them. Mm. What's your take on this? I think that's messed up. Our I, parents' generation I, very common eh. I know a lot of people who have multiple kids or I know of people because mm. my ki- my friends are the ones suffering the brunt of it now mm. but they have multiple children they don't invest in their education and yet the kids are the retirement plan like yes. it oh. makes no sense to me and then now you are implicating so many more people and then instead of using those funds to Point like to take care of deposit. yourself yeah you have to spread so thin and rely mm. on on grants that are not guaranteed also Okay, fair enough. I think our parents' generation was quite tough la, for them because mm. they are commonly referred to as the sandwich generation, you know? Yeah, yeah. Most of the time, uh, they have a lot of siblings because mm. our grandparents, to them, it was like, I have more kids than they can work, mm. right? They don't go to school or very few of them went to school and a lot of them would work like, you know, manual labor jobs in the mm. kampong last time. Okay, so my mom also like, was that like my that? My father la. also. My mom and my dad both have a lot of siblings. As they grew older and our grandparents grew older, they had to take care of our grandparents. Mm. Okay. And at the same time, they need to take care of us. But then now, right, we are quite fortunate in the sense that like our parents' generation, they can take care of themselves. And I'm yeah. seeing more and more now that like a lot of parents, um, people from our parents' generation are like, never mind, you just take care of yourself. Mm. We will settle our own mm. thing. Because mm. they were also fortunate to like manage to buy housing, like settle their housing relatively cheap and things like that. Like. But there are still some parents There are some who that are like will still expect like, okay, you must take care of yeah. me also. I think that's wrong. La, like your basically. salary, how many percentage must go to me? You know? Yeah, I, I mean, have friends who do that. Then they end up having to lie about how much they earn. The way I make sense of this is me thinking to be a mom, And yeah. I want to give the best to my child. I do not expect anything in return. Mm. Yeah. There's a lot of complexities also. La, because yeah. the relationship you have with your parents, your childhood and my childhood is so different. Yeah. Yeah. And how our, our parents treated us is so different as well. Mm. And sometimes it's just a very complicated family dynamic and situation where yeah. maybe there's abuse or trauma being passed down also. Yeah. yeah. And should you be taking care of that person who caused you so much pain? Even situation? then, I think it should be on a needs basis. Like if your parents are doing okay, they mm. plan for their retirement properly, they don't need your allowance every month, mm. then okay, at most you want to chip in a bit yeah. as a token sum, then that's fine. Um, but obviously, if they are dependent on you and they did their part to take care of you last time, now they cannot work already mm. and things like that, then obviously I feel that there is a bit more obligation mm. for you to take care of them yeah. also. Mm. The other bit also is like, you know, whether you are still in that household or not. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Because sure. if you are still living there, then fair enough, like you should ship yeah. in. Yeah. 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 But if you are not, then, you know, I mean, personally for me, if I was a parent, like, I wouldn't have that expectation of my mm. child. La. I would raise my children while still also making sure that like next time I can retirement myself. Settle. Yeah. But with that being said, right, I know that there are a lot of parents who give up their dreams, who give up things that they want to do mm. in order for the kids to have a, a better yeah. life. Like, like they really do more above and beyond. Mm. If we can recognize that as children and we can give back in some way, then yeah. why not? You know what I mean? I mean, to me, it's a... It's more or less a symbiotic relationship, right? Mm. Uh, you young at the time, I take care of you. And then mm. if I did a good job, then okay lah, you take care of me also. Mm. I don't think that there's a hard or fast rule for this. 100% yeah. not. Mm. Yeah. Because also your parents did not ask to be born in that kind of situation mm. too. Yeah. And then 
You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like there's so many layers because we weren't ever this modern and ever this like this podcast would not be happening now in our parents' generation. Yeah. Conversations like this would not happen. My mother mm. would not want to be on a podcast. Why? <laughs> she said no to being on camera. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Or oh, you try it for She's the opposite, yeah. But in general, yeah. I mean like conversations like these, it takes privilege. Like we need mm. to have privilege to be able to sit here yeah. and talk like, oh, will we want, will we not want? Like mm. for some people in, in their time, it's like if they don't have kids, no one's going to take over the business. Yeah, mm. you know what I mean. Like it's it's a practical decision. Uh, on that note, right? The other thing that I was thinking about is like, as a parent, how much do you should you sacrifice or give to your child? And then as a child, how much should you sacrifice and give to your parent? Mm. I think the parents side is really up to up to them. It's like for us, mm. we don't right now we don't really see ourselves as parents mm. because our priorities are maybe on your life for you your lifestyle, right? Mm. For me, my freedom. I I also feel like I I'm not ready to be a mom anytime soon. Mm. If you, you're 100% all in to being a mum, then mm. I think that is the... So you must be all in. La, yeah, then you be can, all in. Yeah. Yeah. So all in would be like everything the kid comes first, right? Some people want to work while taking care of their kids. Yeah. They don't have to become a full-time mum. Like yeah. it's, we have the choice, like what... Uh, so I think say? that's the part that is a bit stressful for a lot of people that they think that I need to be all in 100% then mm. if not other people like my friends while they're doing a bit more for their kids then I also be. I feel like there's no fixed formula to be, being a mum or dad. Mm. Yeah, but yeah. more looks very different on different people too. Yeah, yeah. it's I subjective. Think, uh. Yeah, I think that one thing that I feel is most important at the core is that it's unconditional love. Mm. If it's conditional, that's where I feel like I personally don't agree. Like your motive is wrong. Style, yeah. Like for example, my mom, she really gave up her career to mm. take care of us. But she has never blamed us for, for that loss, yeah, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. She will always think that I decided to... I, I made that decision... And I'll never regret it, lah. Yeah, whereas because there are some are. people who will probably be, probably be like, because of your, uh, yeah, because mm. of your, I I didn't have this, yeah. I didn't have yeah. that, and I think blaming your kids for your own choice is not right, lah. Question part. Okay, question. This is our favorite segment, now. Yeah. yeah. Would you rather have fifty-five year old Joey's or fifty-five year old Nick or fifty? 50- Five year olds, not fifty five. Fifty? Am I fifty five year old? No, no fifty old. Fifty old you. Wow. Fifty old Joey. You will not want like even one five year old me. Sorry. Eh. I I will not want two. I also don't. Want. Huh? One also can very hard already. No, I want Joey because then she can sing, me to sleep, <laughs> as a as a <laughs> five year old. Labor. Sing, sing now. <laughs> la, la, la. Who in this room would be the best parent? Actually, I think it's me. As much as I don't, not so keen to be a parent, but I think I would be quite a good parent. As long as you think so, I think that's the mm. most important thing. If yeah. you believe it, you as can long achieve as you, it. Yeah, yeah, I will. Like if I have a son, uh, I will make you the best son. No, like, I can. No, that's I can. Generational I can, trauma. Yeah, I can be the best. <laughs> what would you name your future child? Oh wow! Oh, I, we already have names actually, but I don't want to reveal because Nick and Q. Um, this is damn gross If it's a girl You call Nick If it's a guy You call Q you Okay no You know what I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Liz And then People think it's short For Elizabeth right Then actually it's Lizard <laughs> This question For a bit strange <laughs> That's very funny that's right funny. Like oh Liz that's I see Liz As it is Elizabeth <laughs> uh, No Lizard <laughs> So why do you guys think That more millennial Adults now Are choosing not to have kids Money yeah, I think so that's expensive the, in Singapore. That's the biggest one, right? Yeah. I think money and also us coming to terms with the invisible sacrifices. Like you see your parents suffering, and then you suffer as a result of that suffering, and then you 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 now have that privilege to be like, okay, I want to assess the situation and be like, do I want to pass this down to my kids mm-hmm. if I have any? I feel like a lot of people our age are learning more about ourselves. The people in our age group. We all want to live our best life. Yeah, yeah right. I'm not like I need to like be able to. Hmm, I'm gonna take a six months sabbatical. Hmm, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna like maybe hmm. next week I will. Next week I'm gonna go to uh a uh, uh, Brazil. Oh yeah. And then like if I die, it's okay. There's nobody depending yeah. on me. Right? <laughs> like okay, like for yeah. for in December, I I'm planning to go for this like snowboarding trip for fun. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't be able to do that if yeah. I have a child now. If you have a child now, right? Okay, like you say you're going in de- December, but I want to be able to like. April. Drop. April, I go, I go, I go holiday. Okay. Or oh, non-school holiday yeah. days, is it? Like, do you realise oh. that like, as a parent, right, all your holidays revolve around March, June, September, and December, mm. and then it's damn crowded everywhere. The other one, I, I also find that like with some of um, 
like our um, fr- some friends who are new parents and things like that, they also say that their social life suffer. Yeah. Yes. People they stop getting invited to things. Huh? Really? They either stop getting invited to things. Uh, okay. Usually yeah, they the won't stop, stop getting inviting. Invited. Usually the people will stop inviting because they they assume that oh you cannot come anyway or like busy. <laughs> the one I always like try to wrap my head around is the okay we meet at this time then uh-huh. after that oh sorry we'll be late maybe haven't wake up yet. Oh. Then they reach already then like. Maybe some we be doing we meeting from three pm to five pm. Yeah. Then they reach at four. Then after that they say, sorry we need to go. Maybe need to sleep. Oh, <laughs> like they okay oh. la, But then it's the thought that comes. Yeah la, yeah, yeah, like yeah. They So they come. They, they still, still come. They still, they still come. Are you fond of the world that that we are living in right now? It's, it's a complicated part yeah. of yeah, having you a kid. Yeah. to bring a child into this world. The and world then, is a little bit messed up, huh? Yeah. I think a lot of people are suffering. Like stress, stress that work, stress about things that are very expensive, mm. stress that the world might end soon cause like uh, next time climate the, change. Next time the GST, how much? That's why. Mm. Stress then, that got war. Yeah. Stress that now the plastic mm. bag 10 cents. <laughs> Do you want to bring your child into a world where the plastic bag might be 50 cents? Okay. Or you should bring I up think... your child to bring a, a oh, tote bag. Yeah. Get your kid Come a bag. Yeah, so I think that's the other thing. Like, hesitant mm. to bring children into a world with all these sort of um, mm. uncertainties and, and crises. Yeah. So I think it's a bit different for me because my husband and I are planning to relocate to the US. And as we all know, the US is a very complicated space. Wow, scary eh. Um, that's so yeah, everyone's always like are you not afraid like being in America I have not once felt unsafe oh, but okay. America is huge I think it's very different unfortunately or fortunately I do want to live in the US that's mm. I want a yard I want like your dog's running around yeah, you want a yard like I want a, a boat yard, a yard a yard I yard. want a yard oh, I thought it's like the American <laughs> accent I want a yard, want a yard. <laughs> no I don't want a yard <laughs> I want a yard <laughs> so I want a yard with like flowers and I want to grow my own mm. herbs I want to have my kids and my dogs play around so wholesome you must know, go to like, US man Australia I mean, you go to Australia, but my husband's American. Oh, true, so true, true, like, true, true, true. Keep yeah. up. I, I do think that it's it's a bit more complicated, and I do think about the ethical mm. part mm. of it too. The world, social media, our mm. kids gonna grow up in the world of social media. Where kids gonna be jobless because of AI. Oh my goodness, that's very terrifying. Too. I mean, we could end up being <laughs> jobless because of yeah. AI. Don't say that. Don't say that. Okay. QA, QA. I haven't dismissed the entire idea of like. Being a mom la. Maybe like I the can, right partner come along. Yeah, I yeah, can I, I can see so. that happening. I can yeah. see if myself like being partner. a decent mom. Send my kid to go yeah. gymnastics. Like if your husband billionaire, Cute, like tumble Your husband billionaire and then like he damn good father. So manifest, right. I'm manifesting billionaire right. and a good father. Then got like you got ten nannies helping you. No, the one. You got five nannies helping you. Just Maybe like just two, one. one or yeah. two oh, okay. I want to be a, a present mom. Yeah. No, helping you with like clean and all uh, that kind of thing so that you can be a okay. present mom. No, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, a nanny. That's a housekeeper. Uh. Anyway, I do see myself maybe. being a mom. Yeah, it's a maybe. Mm. It's a maybe. But I, I think I still have a bit of fear of being a parent. Mm. Like, I wouldn't be uh, a good enough mom. Mm. And I'm not selfless yet. I don't think you should be completely selfless. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because you should also prioritize your relationship with your partner. Like, th- I feel like the marriage comes first. Mm-hmm. But I feel like us having this conversation now is a good indicator that we are being conscious and responsible. So you don't think that we are selfish uh, to not want kids? No. As in, I think it's important to recognize that you want to prioritize yourself. Because mm. having a kid, you shouldn't lose yourself in the process. But it's, but the it's, argument, it's my life, what? It's yeah. my life, why, why, who, who am I selfish to? Unless I'm, I am uh, attached to someone who wants kids, then I am selfish. I have, a new, I have new nephews. They're very young. Mm. And then after they came into this world, right, that solidified my decision to not have kids. Because <gasps> I feel like as an uncle, right, I get enough, enough joy. My fiancé and I, we both like, are so happy being the mm. fun aunt and uncle. That that has given us enough, like, of the the Aww. joy of, of being of, of having kids. And in the yeah. process, you can help your sibling like be relieved of stress for one day. Like you take the, yeah, your yeah, nephew yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Then they want to go holiday. Okay. They want to yeah. go date night. So do you guys think that you will regret not having a child in the future? And how can we manage the stress I'll regret, and emotions? Uh. I feel like the only thing is that people always talk about the you're lonely in your own old age, right? You don't live so long. Uh. Can make a decision like that, meh? I think maybe those... You think got one button for you to press like, I don't exist anymore? Die before your friends. My, my ideal world, right? I don't want to leave... I'll leave everyone. Yeah lah. I mean, that's your ideal I world. Tell, but then I always tell... Um, I always tell my fiancé like, 
I hope I die first. Before her. So then, selfish. <laughs> I also hope I die before my loved ones. Yeah. Actually. After that, you sort it up. You take my, take my life insurance and you go and leave it up. Then, but it's not my problem. Party. Yeah. Party at seventy. <laughs> As in, I think for me, I've been trying to tell myself that I need to live with my choices. Mm. I don't know whether I'll regret. I'll let y'all know in 30 years. How I vision my life to be is that I still have a lot of friends. Mm. Um, I'm hanging out with my siblings, my friends, uh, having my own hobbies and interests, traveling the world. I hope that I'm still healthy and moving around, uh, like exercise, yeah. you know, fit. A bit. Yeah. yeah. So, so that... There's other fulfillment in other aspects of the yeah. life. It, it's, yeah. it's not uh, as, like motherhood again. It's not the end goal. We just hang out with kids, uh, right? Oh yeah, yeah. You make, know, like old people, you make friends yeah. with Volunteer. strangers very quickly. Like you can meet a young lady. Oh, that's a nice yeah. whatever. Then you start talking, yeah. and then you mutually benefit from that relationship. Okay, so with that being said, right? I feel like you know, there's a generational shift now towards not having children. But how can we as a society? Better, and better respect and support the choices that people make, whether it's uh, to have kids or to not have kids. Okay, there's this like term, I'm not sure if you've heard of it, it's very obscure, it's M-Y-O-B. It's not very obscure. I, I know, mind much. your own business. Yeah. In the most kind way possible, like everyone's yeah. going through different things. Some people have the financial capabilities to have kids and they still don't want to and that's fine because that's what they want for themselves. Thank you so much for watching The Hot Pot. We are also on Spotify, Apple Podcasts and Me Listen. And please drop us a comment or two about what you thought about our discussion today. Do you want kids? Do you not want kids? And most importantly, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel at You Got Watch as well and we will see you next week. Sub subscribe. Bye. 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 Oh, reason to have child is um, if you marry already, then you got no kids. You go Chinese New Year, you come lose. You'll lose it's out. not about winning. <laughs> Net negative, you know or not. You give the ang pao oh, only, but you right. don't take. But it's your kid take the money, not But then the kid's money end up put inside their bank, which is, I, I will put the money also. Uh.